Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The 85 plus times 10 has returned the monumentous and very, very popular SBC has finally returned in the summer menus on FIFA 22. I want to take a look at what this did to the market yesterday because some cards, because of this, are moving like crazy, especially some of the fodder cards in this market are moving mad because of how much demand and hype and also just how much great value the 85 times 10 brings. I want to take a look at all that SBC, the other content that we had yesterday related to the Pushkas Moments SBC, and eight more Summer Swap tokens released via the objectives as expected. I also want to take a look at some of the market with Batch 1 cards, movements after rewards yesterday, actually pushed some of those cards up in price and also EA is fixing a mistake that they messed up on with weekend league rewards all of that and more in today's video if you're excited for the 85 times 10 to be back hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new and let's talk about that SBC to start things off today of course we knew this SBC was going to be coming soon we thought that yesterday was going to be the great time for it and that is exactly what EA thought as well they released this SBC repeatable one time yesterday but in two days, which I believe the timer is counting down, and when they usually do this, like it says two days, but to me, that's actually two days in like 20 hours from when it was released, right? So I think on Thursday, we're going to be able to do the 85 times 10 again, and then after that, I would assume it's going to be repeatable one more time, because as you see, it's out for six more days, so it's basically out for a whole week. Maybe we will have another opportunity to do this SBC on like Sunday before it would go away. Um, and then, of course, have a chance at packing Batch 2 cards as Batch 1 is going out of packs this Friday uh, as a part of footies. That's the real curious part I have about this SBC. Now, what we know from right away, and a lot of people opening this pack, is the value, the great value of the 85 times 10 is still here. With the pack weight, with all the cards that are in packs, 156,000 coins is what this SBC came in at yesterday, and that is exactly what we expect it to be. 87 squad with a team of the week or a team of the season. Basically, the reason why this is such good value is because you're turning in 11 cards, right? And unlike an icon player pick, a footies player pick, or anything along those lines, you're turning in 11 cards, not to just get one card back, but you're getting 10. You can basically do an 85 times 10 and get the whole squad back that you just submitted for that SBC, and then if it was repeatable with no end, you could literally go ahead and do that again. That's where the value is of the 85 times 10. And you're, of course, giving yourself opportunity to pack some really top tier cards like the St. Max, the Dembele, the Coutinho, the Ronaldo, the Messi, all those cards that are a part of batch one that's in packs. That's why this SBC is hype. Now, I know some people are looking at this and they're like, Nate, I'm just going to save my 85 times 10 because I don't want to pack any of these guys right now. I would rather save it until batch two or batch three when there's more team of the season or more shapeshifter cards in packs, then it will be worth it for me. I understand where you're coming from from that standpoint, but this SBC is just flat out fun. It's exactly, it's just fun. It's so fun to open a pack and to see all the different colors inside of all the special cards, the promo players that are in packs at the moment. That's what makes this SBC so much fun. And you can see 87% upvote on this. If you haven't got it done yet, it is a pretty easy craft with upgrade packs. Not that upgrade packs are cheap at the moment. You take a look at the 82 plus player pick. Part of the reason that fodder is up 10K to do that, it's actually going up in price because there's no supply on this market. But that was the big W SBC from yesterday. Now, again, as I talked about, we're going to be able to do this SBC again on Thursday. And I just want to put the bug in your ear and put the idea in your head really quickly that it might be worth it. If you're somebody who's like, man, with the cards and packs that are out right now, I don't have a ton of fodder. I can't do a ton of these right now. I might save this for Friday because I think on Friday we're going to have batch two and that could include some more high tier cards, better fodder and higher rateds with probably a lot of team of the seasons entering packs or in that batch two, right? Batch one, you can see here goes away Friday. I think batch two would include more team of the seasons. It might be a better value for your fodder rating coming out of the 85 times 10 on Thursday if you open it on Friday. That's just something to think about, but I think we're going to continue to get the 85 times 10 a lot over the next two, three, four weeks. So I'm going to be probably just opening it and, and ripping it right away when it gets released. So of course, that was the big content from yesterday. And like I said, it is making some of the market move like crazy with SBC fodder exploding yesterday 
you know, we were looking at 84 is at like what? Four and a half thousand coins. And I was like, hey guys, these are probably going to go to 6K at some point. They, they are like a lot of 84 rated cards are actually 6,000 coins. Fodder across the whole entire game has gone up, but specifically those 84s and 85s have that best ROI. 85s are at 11,000 coins plus. 84s, like I said, are approaching 6K. Some of them were selling at 7K yesterday. And you can look at on these cards individually. You see the spike, right? 5,000 coins, 4.7K for I know them, spiking to 6.4. Right now, he's around 5.8, 5.9 thousand coins. You know, it's just where that demand is at. It's a lot of people have a couple high rated cards in their club, or they're going out and saying, hey, I can go buy a 92 rated card for 40,000 coins and then buy like an 88 or an 87. And then, you know, maybe buy one more like really high tier player, like a 93 De Bruyne for 46K. And then they go and do the rest of their squad and fill it out with some 84s, 85s, and 86s. That's why that part of the market is going up so much. Now, if you have any of these cards still, if you're invested and you're like, Nate, these cards are going to keep going, right? Honestly, yes, because the part of the market right now that is getting like no tradable supply is, well, entirely the whole market. Like there is no tradable supp supply being dropped on this game. They're not dropping pack SBCs that are tradable, at least not very much. They're not running lightning rounds. And what's that? what that's really doing is it's making fodder go up more. And it's even making upgrade packs more expensive because, yeah, there's a couple of promo packs in the store. But I just think that footies, you know, with the best of cards and packs, a lot of people and EA themselves are just saying, hey, we don't want to run lightning rounds and try to sell packs for cards that have already been released. That's just not what we're going to do. So that's going to make us think a little bit differently heading into this Friday when we get there talking about what we can maybe do in regards to fodder. As I just invited somebody randomly to a game because that's the worst button literally to have as a friend invite. I don't know why they use R2. Why not use R3 EA Sports or like L3 or something different? I don't know. Anyways... Uh, the, the market right now just does not have a lot of supply. If you take it all, take a look at all gold rares. Like, let's say I want to go buy some Prem gold rares to do upgrade packs. 1.4K is what it costs to go buy gold rares to do upgrade packs with. And the reason why all fodder is going up, and it's crazy how much of these are even going up too. Like, this 1.4, 1.5K, some of these cards are more expensive than they were during some of the most insane weeks of team of the season. This year, we were paying like a thousand to 1200 coins for most of the five weeks of team of the season for upgrade packs during that really hype time, right? Right now, we are paying even more than that. And it's because there is no supply tradable to the market of gold rares and of SBC fodder. So that's why you're seeing a lot of these SBC prices go up and a lot of that fodder continue to go up as well. The only fodder cards that I would say, hey guys, I would take the cash on would be some of these guys like Gold Modric. There was a couple people in the stream saying yesterday that Gold Modric was, and actually he is, basically extinct. An 87 rated card for 32K. On the market, the cheapest 87 rated card right now is 18,000 coins for ones to watch Upa Meccano. So for a gold card that is out of packs, like a Modric, maybe like a Harry Kane or something along those lines where it's an old card that has a special item in packs right now. I can't find the ones to watch card design. There it is. Um, yeah, so you've got 87s that are at 19, 20,000 coins, but you've got an 87 gold Modric that's out of packs and he is 32,000 coins. I would sell that, right? Same thing with like Harry Kane, Sun, gold cards that have specials in packs. I would sell those 100% right now because they are extremely inflated in price and they're going to come back into packs maybe with batch two this weekend and again those are some of your higher tier cards as well higher rated fodder i would definitely get those out and i think that's a great play to sell your fodder but for later on for the rest of this week again like i'm saying i don't expect any more lightning rounds until friday with batch two unless ea were to drop a some like a, a Wijnaldum the PSG type SBC one more time. And the rewards you get from this was an untradable pack. If they drop an SBC like this that is tradable, uh, it's going to take like multiple of these to really have any market impact or at least move the market very significantly in terms of fodder. I think that you're pretty well off to continue to hold your fodder another day or two before we get to Friday. I think just keep watching. I don't know what kind of content they're going to release today on a Tuesday, but all I know is people are doing upgrade packs. People are doing the Havertz SBC, the footies favorites. They're doing the gamble player picks like the footies player pick, the Premier League campaign bag. People are loving these, right? I did like three of these yesterday myself. Got absolutely nothing except duplicates, but it's fun, right? And it's grindable menu content and people absolutely love it. So 
that's why I would say uh, hold on to some of that fodder for another day or two. I think it still could go up a little bit more. And again, it's just that lack of supply that is making those go higher. Now, another SBC that we had yesterday, before we move on and talk about objectives and some other things, we had an Icon Moments SBC yesterday that people are actually kind of excited about based off of Footbin's rating of the Pushkas SBC. Now, I think the reason why people are kind of excited about Pushkas is because this is one of the highest tier of icon moments that we've actually had a player SBC for, and especially recently. And with high rated fodder being in abundance right now with 85 times tens, the upgrade packs that you can get, all the fodder packs from summer swaps, people can get that fodder if they really want it, and they can easily go in and complete a guy like this Pushkas. Now his SBC price, isn't amazing he, on the market he's about 1.3 million coins and that is exactly what his sbc price is on footbin he's right around that 1.3 to 1.4 million coin range but his card was 1.7 mil and even like 2 million coins about three four five weeks ago about a month ago um so his card price has dropped a lot with footies and stuff like that happening and with the leak of his sbc that impacted his price a lot so people that are big fans of this pushkas card in game he is really good and you can see that it's very favorable upvote to downvote percentage uh, and it's not a bad card it is one of those icons that is absolutely still inside the power curve you could argue that there are cards better than this on the market for cheaper or you you could also just argue there's so many different attackers why would you want to lock a pushkas card untradeable in your team feeling like you have to use him you know when there's so many other great players that are coming out i understand all sides of the argument but if this is an sbc that you want to craft or you want to add to your club i think it is very craftable again with all the fodder that is attainable at the moment now more monday content just to kind of go over it very fast we also hit the nail on the head with the eight more swap tokens released by EA here. We are now one swap token away from being completely done with summer swap set number one. 49 out of 50 tokens have been released. They basically just copy and pasted summer swaps one, the objective, which by the way, EA Sports Roman numerals. Hello. Summer swaps four should be IV with the letters, not I, 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 I don't know what they're doing with this, but whatever. Uh, it's, it's the small things, right? But anyways, Premier League Serie A, all I have to do personally is to get two more Serie A wins. I went out and tried Zlatan's card. It was very fun to use. Two more wins with this, and I will be done with summer swaps. I'll get my last two fodder packs and probably call it quits there. But if you're still grinding to get your last few packs done and dusted, these are eight more tokens that EA Sports released in order for us to get to that 50 or whatever goal you're trying to go after, make sure you keep working on these because it's, it's, you know, almost time at the end of the swaps program. And we are near the end with only six days left to redeem these tokens as well. So make sure that you are watching out for these and keeping an eye on these as we get closer to that time frame being up. Now, a couple more things. Now, speaking about the market a little bit, we have had, like we normally do on Mondays throughout the rest of the year, we have seen this kind of trend happen. A lot of prices usually go up on Mondays as people finish their weekend league, they go out and they buy some cards for their teams. Now, yesterday, this happened specifically in the area of Premier League out of pack specials. This Cancelo card is one that we have seen rise up a lot in this past week with all of the Premier League hype being where EA has placed a lot of the most hyped footy cards, right? You've got the Havertz, you've got the Mount, you've got the Reese James as your most hyped cards that have been released from footies and not to mention the Luis Diaz, right? Four really hyped Prem cards. A lot of people are building their squads around those items right now and you see a lot of your Premier League out of pack specials, specifically the ones that are not in packs. Let me rephrase. Your team of the season, your shapeshifter Premier League cards are the ones that have risen, right? Because people are just building out these teams with those Premier League links. And a lot of these cards continue to go up. I sold a shapeshifter's team of Werner yesterday uh, that I bought on Friday at 730,000 coins. I sold this card at 870. He proceeded to go even over 900,000 coins where he is right now. So a lot of these cards, especially if they're really rare, you know, like I think of a Tim Cahill shapeshifter hero as well. He has gone from 300,000 coins where he was on Friday all the way up to, he's actually encroaching on 400K. He's 370 and these cards are pretty rare. So he could continue to rise up a little bit more and almost get to 400K by the time this week is over. But one thing I wanna say is, if you have any of these cards tradable in your team, specifically the team of the seasons, just start to think about, hey, I might not wanna keep this guy in my team for forever. Because if you think about it, a candidate 
for batch two cards would be all of these team of the seasons. And we might cover it a little bit more in depth tomorrow as we talk about batch two coming, or especially if, as we maybe hear about what this next week of footies could look like. I think that some of these cards that have risen up this last week could take a hit in price. After we get more and more cards released in this game, maybe EA focuses around a different league as we head in towards the second week of footy. So that's just kind of something to think about. But if you're enjoying the teams that you're using at the moment, then just use them. And if you don't care about losing coins, I'm going to I'm gonna say that a lot Like at this stage of the game. Some of you guys will be like, Nate, I bought the team that I want to use. I'm going to use him. And I say that, that's great. If you bought Coutinho at like 400K when he dropped all the way down this weekend to use him in weekend league, and you're like, Nate, I'm having a blast with this Coutinho card. Never used him before now. He's so good. I love him. Then just use him, right? He's 400K. Yeah, he's dropped down. He was like 350. You know, I bought his Latan at 180. He was 160. Could he go lower this week later on? Absolutely. With more cards coming in packs this weekend, could some of the cards that have higher versions, um, you know, like Zlatan is not a good example because this is his best version. But for a card, maybe even like Mane, Road to the Final, that is out right now, his Tots card has five-star skills and is really, really hype. And it's 500K more. It's, it's double the price of this Road to the Final. Could the Tots card dropping down 200, 300K this weekend, if it gets re-released in packs, impact that road to the final money it absolutely could push him down lower but again there's a position change in there that might be a bit of a um, special issue and a specific issue with that card but that's just kind of like my overall mindset and we're probably going to talk about that a little bit more tomorrow as we get into later in the week as well watching the market in terms of what cards are really hyped right now but also what cards could get back into packs all i would say is start to think about hey if i'm having to part with a player from my team as premier league what would I kind of do to change my squad around um, based upon how things look on the market if you're really trying to save coins still on this game? Now, really quickly to end this video off, what is, what's going to happen today on Tuesday, right? That's kind of a question I, I don't even really know. Tuesdays have been days where we've had player SBCs during footies, but at the moment, what player SBC are we really expecting, right? We've had the Havertz premium. We've had the Luis Diaz premium. We have had two uh, footies favorites, October and November. And I don't know if they can do December because that would feel like they're getting too ahead um, as they try to go throughout this five-week promo. I would imagine it's just one to two per week. So I'm really gonna kind of curious to see what other player they could do today. They could just drop a random flashback. They could drop a random footies card that's just a regular footies card design. I mean, obviously it's EA. They can do whatever they want. But this is one of my worries that I had on the weekend. I was saying like, hey, maybe this content could be a little bit front loaded. And apart from the 85 times 10 yesterday, it really feels like Friday and Saturday were the best two days of footies so far. Now, we will see if EA can top that today on Tuesday. But besides some other random players BC that we wouldn't be expecting today that still could potentially come, I really don't know what other types of player picks or packs they would drop because we have so many available at the moment. A footies player pick, the Premier League campaign bag, 85-10, Premier League tots or shapeshifter. There's just so many of these gamble packs that are out right now. Would EA do another one? It almost seems over the top. But it's also footies, and I'm not going to complain if they do because we're going to do the SBC pack and have some fun with it. I just don't know how far EA want to go with that. So we also are sh should be getting really, really close to our next voting of another premium footies kind of voting SBC situation like the Havertz, like the Wambasaka, like the Luis Diaz. I think tomorrow on Wednesday is when we should get that information. So hopefully, uh, I mean, we might even start getting some leaks today on Tuesday about that info. Really, really fast. Last thing I want to talk about in this video today is, as I mentioned at the beginning, EA Sports fixing an issue that they said and they are aware of, they messed up one. On the um, footies website, it says that ranks one, two, and three, uh, their pack is only a one player pack and it should be a three player pack per the website. It seemed wrong being a one player pack anyway. But if you got foot champs rank one, two, or three from this last weekend, upcoming foot champions events have been changed and impacted players will receive these items in the coming days. Now, here's what I don't know. EA, if you really want to make this right the correct way, you should literally just give everybody a three plus 92 plus or a three 92 plus SS slash efix tots player pack. I think that's what they should do. Uh, I do want this. I want preview rewards for how do I go to champs finals? I forget how to do this again. R1 champs playoffs. How do I view champs finals rewards? Maybe I can't. I thought you could after you get in here. Anyways, 
Um, no, I can't. R1? Dude, what? I thought I could view champs playoffs. They must be like getting updated right now. And that's why I can't view it. Cause like R1, it says even down here, it should do it. But anyways, they must be doing something with champs playoffs rewards. Um, I just want EA to give out that three player pack. I really think it would be so petty of EA if they just gave out two of the singular 92 plus SS slash E figs tots player packs back that'd be a super ea thing to do ea just give them the three player pack and give them the bonus pack that you messed up with in the first place and just do that so that people get a bonus player in a rank one two or three in july by the way if you're grinding there ea just give them a little bit extra love that's all that i'm asking for so if that's you if that impacts you then you should have some uh, extra um, rewards coming your way or actually the reward rewards that you were deserved in the first place so again today on tuesday it's just going to be more menu grind for me i'm looking forward to doing more 82 plus player picks sending my coins into these getting really high rated fodder i do want to complete havertz i would love to do a couple more of these um you know footies player picks just to have fun right we're just gonna have fun in the menus and enjoy this fun content that we have been trading all year and working and grinding to have coins and have a great squad and now's the time to enjoy it so i want to continue to do that and hopefully ea might release a couple pieces of content today that would help us do that but let me know down in the comments how excited you are for the 85 times 10 my 85 times 10 was pretty good it wasn't like stupid insane um, I think I, oh, I had Jude Bellingham. That was my highlight marquee player. I only had three gold cards. It was just a lot of 86, 87, 88, a couple 90s, like a lot of walkouts and a lot of fodder. That's why the packs are so, so, so fun at this stage of the game. So let me know how yours was down in the comments. But if you did enjoy today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It has been Nathan Photocount, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.